today's video i'm cooking one of the most requested recipe it's a goat curry this is one of the most famous curry in india i'm going to show you how to make a basic goat curry in your own house i have a, a boneless goat meat into this i'm going to add plain yogurt ginger and garlic paste red chili powder salt some turmeric powder coriander powder so crispy fried onions and freshly chopped coriander now with the hands give it a mix you rub all the ingredients nicely and now you can leave this uh, in the fridge for about uh, 45 minutes to an hour now I'll help it uh, uh, tenderize a little bit better and if you don't have time you can start cooking right away this is the first stage done uh, my meat is marinated and i'm going to start making my sauce oil in the pan is hot it's about five tablespoons of vegetable oil you can also use a ghee and into this add uh, cinnamon bay leaves black cardamom and few cloves fry them gently on a medium flame and uh, you want to infuse the oil with the flavors of cinnamon cloves and uh, black cardamom. These are the basic flavors of a lamb curry or a goat curry or even a mutton curry. It shouldn't take more than two to three minutes. Add sliced onions. Now fry your onions on a medium flame until it's nicely golden brown in color and has caramelized properly. For cooking any lamb curry or chicken curry, you have to caramelize your onions properly that brings out the sweetness from the onion that gives the body and the flavor and the texture to the sauce of the chicken curry or lamb curry and in this case my goat curry once your onions have uh, sweated nicely you can see they have uh, started to get frying texture on them and uh, you can now put the flame up to the maximum and keep stirring them keep frying them you want to caramelize them as i said before you want to uh, cook them properly and you want you want to brown them and you can do that when the flame is medium or high but make sure that you continuously keep stirring to cook them evenly once they get to the stage add marinated goat meat and all the marinade on a high flame once again keep searing, keep cooking them you want to sear the goat meat it's important to sear any kind of meat when you cook in a curry because that will lock the juices inside the meat and when it cooks it will be tender, moist and full of juices. Once the meat is nicely seared, add a splash of hot water and cover the pan and let it cook on a gentle flame for about 10 to 15 minutes. While my goat is getting cooked, I'm going to make a meat masala, a goat curry masala. It's very simple. I'm going to make my meat masala with the mace blade, fennel, black cardamom, black peppercorns, cloves. This is called the stone flower, or it's also called dagar kafu, or kalpasi, or a stone moss. This is a special uh, spice. You can cook your lamb, mutton, or goat with this, or even chicken, it adds a very, very intense and a witty flavor which is really unique into curries and uh, adds a, a special kind of aroma as well. And this is another kind of specialty spice. It is called a long pepper. It adds a pepperiness. I'm going to gently toast them on a gentle flame and then I'm going to grind them into a fine powder spice. This will add the meaty flavor into my goat curry. And after toasting and grinding them, I have a special meat masala. This is so nice. This masala smells heavily and uh, uh, this is what's going to add uh, the flavor, the unique flavor into my goat curry. So my goat meat's been cooking about 20 minutes and I'm going to take a look at it now. So the water has almost almost evaporated and uh, still needs a little bit of cooking time. And uh, I'm going to add uh, hot water once again just to help onions to dilute into sauce, help my goat cooking. Cover it and let it cook for another 20 minutes without disturbing it. Now take a look at your goat curry. The water has uh, almost evaporated and at this stage I'm going to add 
ginger and garlic paste and cook it until the raw flavors of ginger and garlic disappear. The ginger and garlic gets cooked in about two to three minutes on a medium flame and uh, then add water, always hot water and cover the pan. Cook for about 20 minutes without disturbing it on a gentle flame. So the goat meat is generally healthier than a lamb or a chicken because there's a saturated fat is not as much as lamb or chicken and it's more grassy and the flavors are much more deep and intense. It takes about 40 to 50 minutes to cook it properly. And now when you take a look at the curry, it's cooking nicely. Almost 70% of the goat is cooked and at this stage I'm going to add coriander powder. Turmeric powder, not too much. Red chili powder, based on your tolerance, you can add more or less. I'm adding Kashmiri chili powder, and it's mainly for color. And our own meat masala. And I'm going to add a good teaspoons into the goat curry. This will add the deep, rich flavor, the dark, intense flavor that you see an authentic goat curry or a mutton curry in India and uh, this black spice has a full um, flavor and uh, nicely roasted uh, um, flavor and it will add a nice aroma into the curry with the, all the lovely flavors in it. Cook these spices no more than 30 to 40 seconds because they need, don't need more cooking. Uh, our spice mix, our uh, meat masala is roasted uh, already and it's cooked. So you don't want to overcook it, so cook it for about uh, 40 to 50 seconds and then add plain yogurt. Before you add plain yogurt, put the flame down. You don't want to ruin your sauce and make sure that it's whisked. Give a quick stir. This will add the creaminess into the goat curry. Cook it without covering it because you want to see what's happening in the pan. There is a yogurt, you don't want it to split and there are spices and I can smell a nice aroma already and I can tell the goat is going to be really really delicious and you want to give a, a go this curry the way I'm showing you it's simple straightforward once you have the spice mix ready you can use it for a lamb or you can use that even for a chicken curry add a, a salt here now check the doneness of the meat so it cuts easily so it's almost almost ready I'm going to add a little bit of more water because I want uh, the sauce to be thinner than it is at the moment. Add toasted pisuri methi or fenu geek leaves. Just to give them a crush between your palms and add into the sauce. So now everything in the pan is cooked, a yogurt has cooked and you can see a thin layer of oil coming on the surface that tells me the curry in the pot is ready. Just to check the doneness Take a chunk of uh, meat and then go in and it cuts very easily. Oh yeah. This is one of the most delicious, rustic and traditional way of cooking a goat. This is a basic goat curry. Do not be intimidated if you do not have all the ingredients. You do not need all the ingredients. Just give a go with whatever you have and I'm sure you will love it. Do give it a go. Do let me know how you get on. I'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions, uh, do let me know and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can and see you in my next video.